We're coming to you live today from Legendary Studios. In this video, we will give you our review of Twilight Struggle Red Sea, Conflict in the Horn of Africa, here on Legendary Tactics. We are here in the Legendary Studios, and we're going to do a quick review of Twilight Struggle Red Sea, Conflict in the Horn of Africa. And we've just finished, uh, actually, Cax's first game. I've played a few games, and so we thought we'd have a first impressions and a multiple impressions review of, uh, of this game. So um, we have also played a lot of Twilight Struggle in our lives, so this is uh, a game which uh, <laughs> I literally explained the rules as we were driving uh, here to Flash's place to, to film in the studio, and it really wasn't a big deal. Is it, it was just, and this is how this works. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, I got it. And then next thing, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I'm going to throw it to you though. What are your first impressions of this game? I really like it. I yes. really like it's uh, the speed of the game, the uh, the compactness of the game. Mm -hmm. I think that is like a real selling point with this game. Uh, Totally get this game done over lunch hour. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Like you could uh, you could bring this to work and then a couple of coworkers boom have a game done uh, before your half hours up no problem. Yeah. Uh, really the um, card events are interesting. They're really neat. They're a really nice twist. I think yes. I I actually want to come back to it and, like look at more of the cards. Yes, and actually and just find out the, the events, the events yeah. that I missed. Yeah. I think there's a lot of neat events in here that you you aren't gonna you, you're not gonna see in Twilight Struggle. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were telling me a really cool variant that the game does with uh, adding in Twilight Struggle cards, though. Yeah, they give they have a point system, so you can actually uh, buy some of the cards that are in the original game and include them in this one. So you can actually merge the two uh, the two games together um, to make your own unique uh, game. Like, yeah, it could be completely different play every single time. That is mix so in new cards. excellent. There's what an really excellent, uh, great yeah. like interfacing idea with the original box set, right? So that's really. What, yeah. were your, what was your take on it? So I've played this game multiple times uh, solo. This is actually the first game I played two player, which is okay. uh, I, which is a different challenge. But um, the bot actually does pretty well. It's uh, it's not perfect, but I think it does a pretty decent job at. Uh, uh, giving you a challenge at least, I and mean, give you that puzzle that I think solo gamers are always uh, after. Um, as as uh, Kax said, the the game plays really quickly. Um, there's only two turns, and you're only playing a total of 16 cards, uh, basically the whole the whole game. So, um, but it it retains the spirit of Twilight Struggle, and um, as an on ramp to the larger game, I think this accomplishes exactly what it set out to do. Yeah. Um, it has the tension, it has the tough decisions, and it has a lot of the same... Uh, I think there is a... Maybe there is a little bit lost because it is so short yeah. at the same time. Because yeah. a lot of the cards don't have any real long-term consequences. And the that, tension you know. can't build. Yes. Like it can build over the game, like the full yes. Twilight Struggle version. So it, it's it's yeah. kind of like more intense, hitting in the face. Yes. But I found I found that a certain it, like intensity pressure because yes. you only have yes eighteen so it's a cards different to like... type of pressure. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. In in uh, what I've always loved about Twilight Struggle is you could have two players going at it, and both of them think they're losing the game at the same time. Like that's, that's right. And this kind of does retain that feel, but yeah, it is much more of a of an intense kind of thing and get get stuff done while you can and uh and really the uh, the plays become more consequential because there really isn't a lot of time to yeah. un undo something even placing like one influence in a country it just there may not be enough time for your opponent to undo that that's right and where in the in the in the larger game there's there's always going to be opportunities to yeah. if you really you need can to, find those moments you can find those to. moments yep. to do that yeah yeah yep. um but uh, yeah, the the but some as I said, the the brevity of the game I think is its strength and its weakness. Like for example, um, the space the space race track is I think it works fine. But man, if you roll badly on the you're, space race, you're cooked on that. You can't yeah you can't know, get anywhere. You can't get anywhere. Yeah. You lose you victory points. You lose. Um, uh, you do you do to... mitigate some opponent events. Yes, you will mitigate their events, which is which is yeah. like a big part of the reason you do it. Yeah. But, so there is that. If you have a string of bad rolls in this game, it could really be a, a you know, it could feel it feel really long. You this game could, could feel really long. Yeah, I agree. Right. I, I was telling you off camera though, this is a game I would actually sit down with my teenage daughters who like to board game and give it a try with them. I would hesitate on doing Twilight Struggle, 
This one, I think they could yeah. probably get their teeth into a little bit and, and start to tackle. Yeah. So if you're, you know, if you've got gamers that are on the edge of getting into hardcore gaming, this game is definitely where you'd want to start before, say, a Twilight Struggle, I yes. would say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, as a game, um, I, I, it, it does exactly what it uh, wants to do. Uh, at the end of the day, yep. I think it's a great design. It's, it's well balanced. It feels like it's teetering on that knife edge, which... Uh, which you won in, in really any game. I mean, we this was your first game. You still beat me by two victory points. <laughs> two VPs. And it could have gone, you know, It could have gone either way. And like you said earlier, I actually thought I was going to lose. I yeah. thought I was losing the whole game. Yes. So, you yeah. know what? That's that's a testament to the game. Yes. And it's, exactly. uh, and like, it's kind of like, exactly. it's, it's so. brilliant. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that the components in this game, we often talk about components. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got the Twilight Struggle uh, game uh, original, you won't notice a difference. These yeah. components are like identical. Yeah, as far as I can tell, like card backs. Uh, and the everything. chips are exactly the same. Uh, yeah. Russian American. Yeah. Uh, the card <laughs> seems. I just, oh yeah, the, the card backs card are the backs, same. Everything. Yeah. I do like the dice. They do feature the yes. uh, the hammer and sickle the and nice, the star. When you roll a six, it's very satisfying when your symbol comes it up. Comes up popping there. Comes up yeah. your symbol. Yeah. Huh. Although the very first time I played it. I rolled the die and I, and I got the star. And I thought, oh, I got a one. A one. That's why I thought the first <laughs> so time you got it. I was yeah, like, oh, I got a one. Oh, yeah, it's a six. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so, so, so uh, yeah. and another thing I did want to mention in particular with this game is the solo bot option. Yes, yes. I don't know if Twilight Struggle has that. No, not the original. Yeah. Um, so there's a whole flow chart here. There that is. You can go through. I believe this yes. is the flow chart. Yeah, and this will, this maybe maybe gives some people a headache. I'm just holding it to, up through the other camera here, but. Um, but the, it actually is relatively easy to implement. It did take me a couple times to kind of get my head around what it, what it was trying to do. But if you're, if you're a dedicated solo gamer and if you're the kind of gamer that would like a, you know, a game like Twilight Struggle, I think you'll find it relatively easy to implement. Um, so this is a really neat way that if you want to play Twilight, but you're really, you're solo in gaming, you can go this route and have that option. Yes. So there's a great opportunity for you out there, the solo yes. gamers. Absolutely. So, verdict? Uh, two thumbs up. All yeah, right. yeah really I really like this me. one. I really like this one. I think I will actually get this to the table more than I'll get Twilight to the table. Yeah, and I that's love very Twilight. Very surprising. Love that's Twilight. Yeah, but so this one great. just feels <laughs> like uh, it's just more compact. I have 30 minutes to give when I don't always have three hours. Or two. Very true. Very so. true. So... Yeah, so uh, yeah, we we love this game. We recommend it. Um, How about you? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's green uh, light. Yeah, green light for me. So awesome. All right, thank you so much for tuning in to uh, uh, Legendary Tactics today to hear about uh, Twilight Struggle, Red Sea Conflict, and the Horn of Africa. And remember, get out there, get gaming, and be legend, be legendary, and be what? Be legendary. <laughs> be legendary. <laughs> <laughs>